Hey guys, happy Monday. All right, so it is on Monday, June 22nd. It's um it's my husband's birthday today, so make sure you go wish him a happy birthday on his wall. And um and he's hanging with the boys right now outside. We just got done with with dinner and and had a little pie for his birthday. But I'm here with you guys tonight bringing you uh, a theme call just to chat with you guys about channeling your ideal customer or coach. We're going to talk about attraction marketing this evening, which is really the basis of our business. Um, so I'm really excited to be a part of, of this team, to be leading you guys to have such great, skilled, and talented coaches that are a part of the Dream Team organization. And so I, you all came here for one reason or another. And, and you're here because I simply refuse to give up because I refuse to listen to all the negative talk on this side and all the people that said it wouldn't work or I couldn't do it and all the no's that I got, all the objections, all the posts that I put out there that got no comments or no likes. You know, you, um, I never gave up. And you don't see that side of a new coach, right? That's not something that's popular on social media. What's popular are the people that are successful. So if you think about a celebrity or a star, you don't hear about what they went through to get that big debut on camera. You don't hear about the struggles of paying their bills and taking the crappy jobs just so they could climb the ladder and get the experience. And it's a lot like our Beachbody business. I feel like I had to do, I had to go through a lot of crappy Facebook posts, a lot of salesy posts, a lot of people telling me no, a lot of late nights and early mornings so that I could, again, build momentum in my business. I could make the compound effect, which I, we recommend all new coaches listen to, work in our favor. And so this channeling your ideal customer and coach doesn't happen because you make the decision that you're just going to channel that person and it just happens. It comes by practicing and perfecting the art of attracting the right people to you. Um, it's that law of magnetism and learning how to draw that in. And it is something, again, that you have to be willing to kind of fail at. Um, very much so similar to being a leader. Um, being a leader and growing leadership skills is the second part of what I'm going to talk about tonight. And every single person on this call, even if this is your very first team call, you're a leader. Um, you are somebody in a position of power. And it doesn't matter what your title is. It doesn't matter if you are a brand new coach and you signed up in the last two hours or you've been a coach for a year. It doesn't matter if you're an emerald, a diamond, a star diamond, even a superstar diamond, or the top coach. If you don't possess leadership skills or qualities or behave in a way that makes other people want to follow you, then you are not a leader. You just merely have a great title. You've gotten there, but you don't possess the skills or the, the qualities that people would want to follow. So as you're going through this call tonight, keep that in mind. Keep this right here, this little boy with the, the, the superhero cape on. Be the kind of leader that you would want to follow. You know, I really think that as you're going through and you're figuring out what your ideal person is, it's not what the girl next door is or the guy down the street. The ideal person customer, the ideal coach, the ideal leader, you know, who you want other people to see you for is you. It's not what everybody else is. It's, you know, and we are all different, whether we're 20 or we're 60 years old right now, whether we're a new mom or a grandma, this business can work for you. And there is nothing that says you have to be this shape, size, demographic, have this kind of background in order to be successful. So we're going to talk a lot about that tonight and how to kind of turn that and transition that into working for you guys. So welcome to the Dream Team call. We do these every Monday night, and, and I'm happy to have you guys here. All right, so before we kick, jump right into that, let's talk about a few announcements. So we've got the Dream Team Summit event, and we are, this is really awesome, guys. We've sold 1,081 tickets for our event. It is open to anybody in the Dream Team, and we've expanded, so anybody that wants to come is able to come. We only have 119 tickets left, so I suggest if you have not gotten your ticket yet or you have a coach that's on the fence, you grab a ticket. 
I am kind of offering refunds if people aren't able to come. Um, so if you do, if you aren't able to attend Summit, please let me know so that I can get you a refund for your ticket. But um, we are doing the Recipe for Success. We have a great lineup of speakers. And, um, and we're going to be bringing you just basically um, 15 to 20 minute snippets about what it is that each of the leaders on our team truly feel like has brought them success in their business. So they're about to share their secret sauce, their top tips, their stories about how they overcome obstacles and how it's defined who they are. It's going to be a great three hours worth of training. We are also going to do a huge team picture after that. We're going to have kind of like a little meet and greet because it's probably the only time that we're all going to be together in one spot. It's actually going to be in the Renaissance. They kind of have this cool little rooftop, rooftop um, area where they have a bar and they have food and we're going to have drinks and, and we're going to just kind of mix and mingle for a couple of hours. You'll be able to go right upstairs and do that. That will only be for coaches in our team, right? So it won't be everybody that was invited to the event. Um, we're going to do a big group picture. Also, there's going to be a photographer there. So if you guys have teams and you would like to get team pictures, a professional one, this would be a perfect time to do it. So make sure you kind of organize your teams together. And at the end, we'll have the photographer there and you guys can just kind of go up on stage and take pictures along the way. We are going to have Dream Team Summit shirts. So the, um, Josh, who has done other shirts for myself and for Katie Ursa, he did the Every Sweat Matters shirts. He's actually designing my Nashville um, team shirt. And so we'll have those that you'll be able to order ahead of time. And then also um, you'll be able to purchase them at the event too. So just keep an eye out in the team pages. I'll be making sure to share that information also. Um, this event is on Thursday, in case you are wondering. Kathy, I saw your question there. But it is on Thursday. This is separate from Summit. You do need a ticket. This is a team-hosted event. This is not sponsored by Beachbody. This is sponsored by our team. Um, so you will need a ticket for that also. And I think, Kathy, you're not coming until Friday. So you might – you're going to miss this one. Um, all right. So the next part is um, – Saturday, after the celebration happens for um, if we paid, how do you get your ticket? Kyle, if you paid, you should have gotten a um, our, you should have gotten a confirmation, an order confirmation, so your ticket should have came to your inbox. If it didn't, if you go to eventbrite.com, you can go to where it says my events, my tickets, and print your ticket off right there. So that's how you can get it. All right, Saturday after the celebration, so that's Saturday night celebration. This is where they award all of the $100,000 winners for the Beachbody Challenge. This is where they recognize the top 10. This is where Elite and Premier is recognized. This is where the top coach celebration is going to happen. These are all the awards, like the Leadership Award, the Philanthropic Awards, everything that kind of like the big end of the, end of the night celebration, the whole event on Saturday night, LP Field, um, is going to be a huge event, right? So everybody's in the stage together. After that Saturday celebration, I really would like everybody to make their way to main stage after for the Saturday night. I want to do a ginormous team picture when everybody is together. Again, we're going to have a photographer for Saturday night. It's a huge, exciting night. Our team's getting, you know, getting awarded for top coach. Um, and it, it, I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And I would like to get a picture of all of you because you've all made an impact in my life. And I'm very blessed to have each and every one of you, whether you're directly sponsored by me or not, or you're down in my downline. I really want you to be a part of an amazing night and, um, and, and just go in my memory books and a place where I can have all of our pictures together. And I'll publish this. We'll actually get like a link with all of our pictures that we can download. So it'll just be fun time to get pictures on Saturday night when we're kind of all in our, our celebration gear before we head off to the little after party. So that's Saturday night. Um, lastly, we do have a Nashville site, like Facebook page. So if you are going to Summit and you're not a part of the Facebook page, please let me or your upline know so you can get added in there as well. All right. Also, that's, I think, I've got – that's everything that has to do with Summit. Make sure you guys have downloaded the app. That's where everything is going to occur. Also, if you're a diamond, you're a star diamond, you're a success club all-star, you're going to be receiving any kind of recognition at Summit. 
go to that Summit app and then go to recognition so that you know when your rehearsal times are, um, when you need to be there for practice, when you are going to be recognized so you guys know when you're going to be on stage too, okay? All right. So Super Saturday is going to happen the weekend after Summit, so July 24th through the 26th, sometime during that weekend, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday will be Summit, or will be um, Super Saturday. And so, guys, for those of you that this is your very first um, event, Beachbody event, Beachbody does these events quarterly, and they're called a Super Saturday. They're a business meeting. They usually include a group workout, a live workout, you know, fit club type of a workout. Um, Beachbody gives the host a PowerPoint presentation and a video to play, which will recap a lot of things that will happen at Summit. And, and at Summit is all the new launches of products and programs. So you're going to have the performance line that's going to be launched. You'll have size that will be launched. Um, I'm sure that there will be other things that we don't even know about that will be launched that, that hasn't been talked about yet. Um, and all of that will kind of be recapped at Super Saturday. Plus, they always have um, coach speakers, so offering training. Plus, each individual location, Super Saturday, has different training and, and stuff that they kind of add value also. So this is not team-specific. If you live in Michigan, you can look up by state all the Super Saturdays hosted in Michigan, and you can go. It does not have to be hosted by a coach on your team. You can take people who are not coaches with you. Um, you can take friends, family members. But I encourage you all to keep checking the back office under events, under news and training and events, because that's where they'll be updating the listings as coaches register their Super Saturdays. So we're doing one in Pittsburgh. It is Saturday, July 25th. It will be at the Omni. We had our January Super Saturday there. Uh, we had our January Dream Team training in the same room. It's the same room that we had our January training in. So, uh, But we don't have the listing up yet or the registration. So keep, keep a lookout for that, too. All right. Size is going to be released on Ju July 20th. So if you have not read the FAQs yet, please do so. It is in the coach breaking news. So when you log into your coach online office, you guys can see the size um, little hyperlink under the coach breaking news, and you can go there and check it all out. I don't know anything more than that. I do know you're going to be able to purchase it at Summit. I do know that it will be exclusively available for purchase to customers who are Team Beachbody customers. So it's not going to go on Beachbody.com just yet. It'll only be a part of Beachbody, Team Beachbody.com for, for a limited amount of time. All right. Okay, Success Club 5 or 10. So if you guys earn Success Club 5 in May and June or and, and a combined total of 10 Success Club points, you are going to earn a call with Bo Eason. So if you're a new coach and you just signed up in June and you've got Success Club 10, you will qualify for this. So it's going to be a mentoring call. He's a great speaker. He talks a lot about the power of your story. I believe he's also going to be at Summit. He's going to be one of the keynotes. So it's going to be a really great um, motivational and mentoring call that he's going to provide. So that's a one reason for you to hit Success Club this month. The second reason is because it's just part of your job requirement and it's what you do as a Beachbody coach that's actively pursuing the business. This Success Club 5 basically says, hey, I've got some skin in the game. Uh, I'm not willing to go down without a fight. I've, I'm doing my business activity tracker 80% of the time, and I'm inviting, and I am I'm being a product of the product, and I'm leading by example. And when you hit Success Club and you're an Emerald coach, then you're going to qualify for customer leads in the month of July. So that is free customers. They're not, they're free. They, they came from Beachbody. They either signed up for a Team Beachbody account, they bought a program, they got on demand, they tried Shakeology, and those people don't have an assigned coach. So they get assigned to people like you who are hitting Success Club. And so you have the opportunity to get the commission for what they've purchased and or reach out to them, try to get them involved in a challenge group, um, get them to drink Shakeology if they're just currently doing a fitness program. But it is a way for you to foster a relationship and, and get that person to have that support so they have a great transformation as well. So Success Club 5 is your non-negotiable. If you're not an Emerald coach, guys, everybody can be Emerald in the next 24 hours. No joke. Um, why do you want to get to Emerald? Number one, it's kind of the first benchmark of your business. You know, my husband was one of my coaches and my best friend was my other coach. 
Um, so think about that. How easy is it? If somebody wants to try Shakeology, sign up with, with, as a coach with a challenge pack. Um, you know, the 21 day fix is only $140 this month. So basically it's like, Hey guys, uh, if you buy Shakeology, you get the 21 day fix for free and access to my challenge group. I'll support, motivate, keep you accountable, teach you how to start and finish a program and get results. And, and it's basically, you know, you're basically getting that program for free when you buy Shakeology. Um, sign up your spouse. If you don't have any coaches in your organization, you want your significant other to be at the top of your organization. Number one, even if they're just a placeholder and you're only thinking about it as I want the person at the top to um, hold that spot, I'm only going to get packets because then if I buy the packets, I can sell them as $5 samples. I want to get the 21-day fix extreme in the future, so I'll just buy a challenge pack through my spouse, and bam, you've got two success club points and your spouse is at the top of your organization. Because what happens if the next person you sign up is Melanie Mitro and starts getting over a 1,000 volume points every month? Everybody that's below your spouse or that person um, is going to reap that volume in their team cycle. And I know it's kind of hard to wrap your head around, but just say, I need to get two important people at the top of my organization to kind of hold those spots because you just never know where it's going to take you. All right? So just uh, words of encouragement. You guys can all get to Emerald. It's definitely easy. Success Club, you can sign up two coaches. Where you get four success club points and you only need one more. So I believe that everybody can do it. All righty, leadership ladder updated in the recognition tab. So Beachbody, if you listened to the national wake-up call today, which I hope you did, if you didn't, please make sure you catch the recording. Again, that's in the Coach Breaking News. Um, the leadership ladder is something I get to talk about at Summit, but also is, is a great way to really kind of set stretch goals for your business. You know, we have these great ranks like Emerald, Diamond, and Star Diamond, but the thing is, is how do you know that your income really matches your rank? How do you know at what level of your business, kind of what behavior should you be doing? What skills should you exhibit? So if you guys go and look at, listen to that call, it'll help you to understand the leader ladder a little better. But then I love that Beachbody is also recognizing coaches for their leadership ladder status. So you can go in there, you can see where you rank, um, you can see under the news and training tab kind of what you need to advance to the next rung of the ladder, uh, and this helps you to kind of drive your business. Also, if you need more clarity on this topic, go ask your coach, and on your next team call, you guys can talk about it, all right? All right, next business opportunity call next uh, or tomorrow night at 7 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. There is the link to register for the call. I'm going to host it. Uh, anybody that you think would make a great coach, invite all your challengers. Go down through your contact list of everybody that is currently a customer. Invite them to join this call. Um, and they can kind of learn a little bit about what a challenge group is, what do we do as a coach, how do we share and not sell, how do you sign up, uh, what are the requirements to get started? It just kind of helps people to kind of understand what it, what you need to do or what skills you need to um, start your beach body business. All right, so that's tomorrow night at 7 p.m. All right, let's do a little recognition shout out and then we are going to move on. And um, Zandra and Brittany, I will definitely get to those questions. All right, so Success Club 10 All-Stars. Hey guys, I just want to give a huge shout out to Sina Williams. She's at 56 Success Club points so far this month. Krista Meyer is at 42 Success Club points. Kim Danger at 36 Success Club points. Guys, these are amazing numbers. So just a huge, huge shout out to the people that are on this list that are over um, 10 Success Club points by a long shot. Actually, Sina Williams is going to be speaking on our team call here in the next month, giving you her top tips for how she has become just a powerhouse at, at selling challenge packs, at recruiting coaches, and she is a Canadian coach um, and is just doing an amazing job. So shout out, guys. The month is not over, right? Um, there's still time to, to hit those points to invite. We've got um, another page of over people that have more than success club. 10. So again, congratulations. Um, here is our Success Club 5 All-Stars page. So congrats to everyone that is hitting Success Club 5 and higher. 
Uh, I'm very proud of you guys. Keep up the good work. And, again, know that the month is definitely, definitely not over. All right. Okay. So let's get into the, the bulk of our call tonight. Um, yes. Yeah. So, Erin, if you're struggling this month, the end of this call is really where I'm going to talk about, um, you know, kind of just some tips to help you with hitting Success Club and to, to really helping you kind of move that forward. So I'm really sorry about the background noise. My kids are being extremely loud this evening. So I just want to apologize for that now. Um, all right. Tonight we're going to talk about who you are um, is who you attract. So when you guys are thinking about your Beachbody business and you're out there trying to establish yourself, I find that it's just difficult to, to get your business up and running and to really figure out who you are. I will say the first three to six months, I was like, gosh, I don't know who I am. Do I attract moms? Do I attract people that are trying to get into their bikini for the summer? Do I want to market myself to stay-at-home moms, the people who work full-time? You know, I just felt like I was all over the place, and I really did not have a good system for figuring that out. And so I feel like over the past three and a half years, I've sort of kind of narrowed that down and perfected that. So I'm going to give you some examples of coaches who have done an amazing job um, along with myself. But I took a lot of this call this evening from a new book that I'm reading, and it's called The Laws of Leadership, um, and it's a John Maxwell book. And, um, and it's really um, has helped me to be able to just kind of hone in on who it is that I want to attract. So when you're thinking about this, think about the leader, the better leader you are, the better leaders that you guys are going to attract. So how do you guys define what a good leader is? And when I start to think about that, I start to say to myself, hmm, when you think about what a good leader is, it doesn't necessarily mean who has the highest rank, who's at the top of the organization, who has been in the business the longest, who signs the most co coaches each month, who has the most challenge pack sales, leadership is really defined by your action. It's really de defined by what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. And so I was sitting here thinking to myself, okay, if I was to make a list of people or things or qualities that I define as good leadership, here's kind of what I come up with. People that are inspirational, that have integrity. And that's kind of like number one at the top of my list. Like you could be the number one coach, but if you don't lead with integrity, you're, I'm checking you off my box, right? Somebody that does what they say they do, somebody that is reliable, um, somebody that has a vision, that is a good example, somebody that is, is communication is a big piece of the puzzle, somebody that is focusing on their team in their interest, in their needs. I think that is really important. I think as a leader, you have to recognize the things that your team does. Recognition is such a big part of what Beachbody as a whole does, um, you know, so that's something else that we really want to focus on too. So when I think about that, I think about, okay, good coaches and, and good leaders are people that lead by example. They're in the trenches. They're doing exactly, they're practicing what they preach. Good leaders are people that are always a student. They're positive. They're a good listener. They set goals. They're pioneers of new ideas. So they're willing to kind of go out there and say, I'm going to be the first one to try this and see how it goes. Um, they're caring. They're people that truly care about others. So what I want you to think about tonight is think about who it is that you guys want to attract. Hey, hold on one second. I just need to tell my, my kids to, to be quiet at the moment. So just hang on. Hey, Matt. Matt. I, you guys are really loud. All right, sorry. You guys are really loud. All right, so um, kind of moving on. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, no, it's not even a birthday party. My husband's talking on the phone and my kids are playing in the other room. And so, um, and my one door is not on yet because it hasn't been installed. And we moved my office. So, um, so yeah, that's, that's what's going on in my house right now. Anyway, so. Um, as I'm, as I'm moving on, I know, I know, right? So who do you want to attract? 
Um, so a couple of things, and I want you guys to, to think about your, your coaching post and your customer post. So this just isn't leadership focused. This is also very much so focused on when you're sitting down to craft a post for your challenge group, who is it that you are speaking to? So things to consider. I honestly used to sit down and say, all right, I'm just going to try to appeal to everybody. I don't want to leave out the older generation or I don't want to leave out the college students. But what happens was I was being way too broad with what I was doing and I wasn't focusing on the right thing. So I want you guys to think about the generation of people that you're trying to attract. You know, what is it that, that you are, are looking for? Are you looking for people who are in their early 20s, their 30s? Are you marketing to people with, um, you know, that are professionals, business professionals, people that, that are, you know, don't have a lot of time? Are you marketing to moms? Are you marketing to dads? Uh, where, what is it? So start to kind of make a list of the things, the people you want to attract. Because uh, I think this is really important. And, and just about any organization or any business, you tend to see people with all the same kinds of people. Now, not everybody fits into that mold, but for the most part, you'll find that when you start making a list of qualities of, of people you want to attract, most people have more than one qualities of what you have on the list. They might not have them all, but they've got some. So you might not be um, a 30-year-old mom of two boys, but you might be somebody that's independent, that's motivated, that is committed to health and fitness like myself, right? So we've got some sort of mutual link. Then if you look at attitude, um, rarely you're going to see a positive person and a negative person attracted to one another. So you're going to most often see people, all the positive people are hanging out together. You know, the negative Nancys are, are hanging out together on the corner of the street, right? But attitude is, is one of the most contagious qualities that a human being possesses. And so if you are constantly spouting out negative posts, especially on your newsfeed, or every time somebody talks to you, you're like draining the life force out of them, um, you're going to repel people away from you. So the people that are positive in life are going to block you. The people that are positive in life are going to stop following you. If you don't smile in your post, if you have a very flat affect, if you're not very animated, you're not going to attract animated people to you. They're going to think you're boring, right? If you are a very monotone and mellow and chill person, you're going to attract the same kind of people. If you're full of drama, you're going to attract people that have drama. So think about your attitude and what kind of people that you want to attract to you. I know for myself, every time I make a post, I think about, okay, I want to whine, I want to complain, I want to talk about how horrible my day really was, but I'm going to put a positive spin on it. I'm going to talk about the fact that I didn't get enough sleep at night, um, but I am going to talk about how I got up and I did my workout anyway. So I'm perseverance, consistency, right? No excuses. And so I'm talking about that kind of stuff. And even though I'm dog tired and I'm saying I'm tired, I'm still putting a positive spin on it. Maybe my kids are very trying and they're just being bad and they're being bad during my team call, right? And they're arguing and they're fighting in the other room and they're playing superheroes. And instead of me talking about how bad my kids were, I'm going to talk about the blessings in my life and how I'm thankful for that noise in the background and how it, you know, it brings me joy. And yes, it might not be perfect, but this is my life. This is what it is, right? And so when you talk about that, when you have an attitude that's positive, even though it's not an ideal situation, you attract people that look at the glass as half full versus the glass is half empty, right? Background. That's kind of the next one when you're thinking about qualities is what is, what are people's background? People attract and are attracted to others of similar background. So for example, blue collar workers tend to hang out with other blue collar workers. Employers tend to hire people of the same race or ethnicity. People with education tend to respect and value others who are also well educated. That's just natural magnetism. And it's so strong that organ organizations that value diversity kind of have to fight against that. So what is your background? And then this is kind of deep, but I want you to think about this. You know, what kind of do you tend to have people in your organization that come with 
baggage? Do you tend to have people that come to your organization that are all teachers, that are all fitness professionals, that are all stay-at-home moms? You know, your background is very similar. So what kind of background do you want people to come into your business with? Do you want to speak to a certain type of a person? And if you do, your post will change based on what that person's background may have experienced, maybe emotionally or physically had a lot of hardships growing up. And if you start to speak to that, you're going to also start to attract those people to you as well. Energy is another one. Um, people with similar energy levels are attracted to one another. So I, I kind of said this earlier, a person with high energy and low energy is not going to really work well together, right? Um, so the high energy person is going to think the low energy person is lazy, and the low energy person is going to think the high energy one is insane. So really trying to get that, that energy level. So what type of person do you want? Do you want people that are over the top, that are, that are very um, expressive? Um, or do you want people that are just kind of chill? And your posts, again, are going to attract those people to you. All right, giftedness. So what kind of people do, do you want to follow? You're going to follow a speech body coach that is more talented than you. Even if, um, even if you feel like you're not at their level or not yet, you are going to follow and emulate people that you want to be like. And that's what your customers are going to do too. So if you are emulating a behavior that people want to follow, that is going to also help you to attract people to you, right? And then finally, leadership ability. People that you attract will have a leadership ability similar to your own. And that doesn't mean you can't, if you say to yourself, well, man, I got poor leadership ability. This is where you really can say to yourself, I now need to work on a few things in my life so that I can begin to attract people that are better than I am. I want to start setting myself apart to the rest. I want to show people that I'm more consistent with my workouts. I am consistent with my exercise. I want to show people that even when I go on vacation, I'm going to lead by example. I'm going to show people how to do beach body on demand, right? Um, I'm going to show people how I make good choices when I go out to restaurants. I am going to, in the summertime, get great fitness results and show people that it doesn't matter if you have four kids in four different summer camps, that you can still find 30 minutes a day to do your workout. But you're going to lead by example. So what we're going to do tonight is we're really going to go through and say, okay, what are, what are some tips to really just attract people to you? Well, number one, I want you to find somebody that can hold you accountable. So find a leadership mentor, and this is really what we call, um, what do we call this person? A, a success partner. That's the word I'm looking for. So your success partner is a person that you can, that can hold you accountable. So I want this person to actually go, in, and you can find this person in our team page, in your coach apprenticeship program, in your success club push groups, in your challenge group. Um, anywhere, anywhere, you can be any other Beach Buddy coach that's out there that you identify and connect with. And I want you, your first assignment, to have that person go to your Facebook page, and I want them to give you a grade. I want them to look at your Facebook wall, and I want them to say, am I sharing? Am I selling? Am I providing positive content that other people would want to follow? And then I want you to also share with them this exercise from tonight that we're going to do with your greatest skills, your greatest strengths and your weaknesses. And, and I want you to make your list of qualities of people you'd like on your team and give that to your success partner. And I want you guys to start working on attraction marketing. So for the rest of this month, so from now until July 22nd, our goal is to become better at social media attraction marketing. All right? So the first step in this is finding a leadership mentor, one that is two to three steps ahead of you or is at a level playing field, right? So your upline could be your, your mentor. Um, a cross-line person that you look up to could be a mentor. Um, I highly suggest that what you do is you follow 
some successful beach body coaches. This was something that I did right from the get go is I would go to the top 10. Um, I would go to the top 50 and I would start following their like pages. I would follow their Facebook pages. I would watch what they did. I would take notes on how they worded posts that stuck out to me and find people with similar backgrounds and family styles that I had um, and to try to figure out exactly um, you know, how I should change or position myself for, for future success, all right? Then I want you to work at your weaknesses and recruit people who will complement your leadership and area of skill. So I want you to sit down tonight and write down a list of five strengths that you have that you feel are, are going to help you attract people to you or are good leadership qualities that you possess. So what are those five things? So I'm trying to see if I actually did this. I didn't do this in this book, but I wrote it on a sheet of paper. But I started to list out some of the five things, like highly motivated, are consistent, are, um, you know, they're another thing that, I, that I'm not organized, but I have a system. I have a systematic approach to things that I do. I love to help other people. You know, I, I am, I lead by example. I am a product of the product. Um, I am always a student. I'm always willing to learn. So those are some of my strengths. I love clean eating. So that's something else that I put down because it's a strength. I like that part of things. I like Now, what are my weaknesses? I would definitely say my weaknesses are um, making sure that I understand other personality styles. I have to work at being a good listener. I have to work at managing my time and making sure that I separate my business and my family, right? Another weakness is that I tend to get emotionally involved in things. Um, I tend to, I, I'm more, I say that being an introvert is my own personal weakness because sometimes it keeps me from meeting new people because I would just much rather stay home with my family, right? So forcing myself outside of my comfort zone to meet new people. So those are some of the things that kind of define who I am. So I want you to sit down. It can be more than five. It can be as many as you want. But then I want you to start creating a profile of who it is that you're looking for. What does your ideal customer look like? What is their age range? What are their interests? Do they like to shop? Do they like to watch movies? Do they like to drink wine? Do they like certain brands like Louis Vuitton or Tiffany's? Do, what's their favorite movie? Um, you know, if they had a million dollars, what would they spend it on? Where would they live, right? Wine, of course. And so make a list of what you're looking for so that every single time you sit down to craft a post, you are attracting people that are just like you. You want to channel unconsciously or subconsciously people that have the same interests as you. Because as you work on your weaknesses and as you talk publicly about what your weaknesses are and how you're trying to improve them, the people that are following you are going to be just like you. And the things that you're sharing about how you're improving upon your weaknesses are going to be things that are going to be deal breakers for people when it comes to joining your team right? So that is exactly why I'm asking you to write these things down because you're going to get better at them. You're going to perfect them and then you're going to attract other people to you. Oh, I don't know what happened to this slide. Channel what you want most through social media. So right, every time you write a post, speak to who you want to listen. So if you want those moms that stay home that have multiple kids that are busy and don't have enough time in the day, every time you write a post, you're thinking about that mom. Focus on your niche, not on the masses. This is key. If you are faith-based, if you really value family, do not, you know, you're, that's, that's what you're focusing on. You're focusing on those people. Don't worry about everybody else out there. Don't worry about what everybody else thinks because your opinion only matters to that certain target market of people, the people that are in your niche and in your brand. Keep it positive. Always self-evaluate yourself. And say the things that people say in their heads um, that they won't say out loud. So you're going to say those things on social media. Like I one time posted a picture about staying out of the pantry or walk – oh, I had a picture of a refrigerator and it said walk away fatty and that was put on the refrigerator, right? And I posted it on my Facebook wall. as like a little funny social media thing. And it caught a lot of steam because a lot of people think that when they go to the refrigerator, but they don't say it out loud. And then I started to talk about tips 
keep yourself from eating late at night and what I do and kind of the things that I walk myself through, right? So sometimes you want to say those things like, oh my gosh, I don't want to go to this wedding because I am 10 pounds heavier um, than I want to be and I'm, I'm not going to feel confident, you know? And I talk about those sorts of things on social media and I talk about that I'm doing the 21 day fix and how I'm going to get back on track and, you know, cutting the, the cravings for sweets and whatnot. So more, the more you talk about those things that, kind of make you vulnerable, that kind of oust the things that, that are bothering you about yourself, the more people can relate to you and who you are. All right, so let's talk about some posts here, guys. So I pulled some posts um, from, from some other coaches that I found were very engaging. So, right, we're talking about attraction marketing, and a big piece of that come, it boils right down to coming up with engaging posts on Facebook. So I thought this one was really good because mom, anytime I post things with my kids in them, pictures, working out with my kids, I get a lot of comments. So for example, this is a post actually by Alyssa. It's on her like page and it's an advertisement that she is doing about a challenge group. And she talks about, this is the wording that I think is really great. She's looking for 20 women who have 10 to 25 pounds to lose, but they want to feel comfortable and confident in their own skin. Women who are serious about making a change in their eating, nutrition, and fitness. It's catered to moms who need a solution at home, need fellowship and support, participate in a fitness program, and follow a dialed-in nutrition plan. There'll be no guesswork. You'll be shocked at how well it works for your current challengers. Please email me or post your email below, and I'll get back to you quickly. So a couple of things about this post. Is Alyssa a mom? Yes, she has three kids. Um, does she, is she confident and comfortable in her own skin? Absolutely. She's working towards that on a daily basis. If you would go to her social media sites, you'd see that that's something she's working on. Is she serious about her business? Absolutely. Is she focused and dialed in? Absolutely. She delivers on what she says she's going to do, and then she gives you a clear call to action, email, or post below. And she gives a little bit of thing about, like, I'm shocked at how well this works for my current challenger. So it kind of seals the deal. Is this a picture of Alyssa? No, this is not a picture of Alyssa. This is something she found on social media that works. Right? So it doesn't always have to be you. So if you are the type of person that says, I'm still nervous about posting on social media pictures of yourself, then this can work. Right? On the right, you see a picture of me. And this is me talking about my workout. So this is just something to drive interaction. I'm talking about my workout. I've been talking about how awful I am at dancing. And I'm awful at it. It's just a fact of life. But I talked about my new pants and how they made me feel and how, and this channels that inner shopper, that person who likes a little fashion, who likes funky clothes, who wants to have fun workout stuff. And every time I post about my workout gear and, and how it motivates me, um, this gets more likes and comments. People just asking me what I'm doing and it's driving interaction about size and the workout. Um, and, and I talk a little bit about how I am having more success. What do you notice about this? Other than the funky pants, you notice the smile, the energy. You notice that it's bright. It's engaging, right? I used pick play post is how I made this image. I took the same picture and I just flipped it. So I uploaded the picture into the app, pick play post is the left is one side. And then I flipped it on the other side and I added an effect on Instagram and voila, it's done. Easy peasy. All right, let's talk about this one. So also, when you're talking about social media posts and trying to engage people, sometimes you want to give people knowledge so that they know that you're a person of skill. You're not just out there talking about workouts and you're not just posting pictures of your food and your Shakeology and wanting people to join challenge groups, but you have something to offer. Everybody wants to know what the three-day refresh is, so there's a nice little cheat sheet that gives them a one-day kind of sneak peek of what it looks like to do the three-day refresh. Um, and I talk about in here my blog post about the three-day refresh. So instead of me just posting my blog and telling people to go read the results, I'm giving them something that they could share. I'm giving people something that they could share on their page and say, I'm going to do this three-day refresh. Who wants to do it with me? And it drives traffic back to my page, but also my blog so people can read about my individual results with the cleanse too. So sometimes you got to kind of think outside of the box to say, how can I get more people to view my stuff and to share it? 
This picture on the right from One Fit Fighter from Katie Ursa. She talks about her emotional experience. So my sweat is my therapy. This morning I sweat a lot. And she goes into talking about a struggle in her life. Have you ever been criticized or questioned? Have you ever felt sort of attacked for being authentic? How much of this could be a negative post, right? Have you ever had your intentions questioned? Remember that time I mentioned that statistic, right? So at one call she did, she talked about 10% of people you meet are not going to like you. Don't get caught up on the 10%. Focus on the 90% that need you. Instead of bashing somebody on Facebook or instead of letting this roll her day, what did she do? She turned a negative into a positive. She turned her, her experience, something that's kind of bothering her, into something positive. She's talking about how her workout becomes her stress relief. It becomes her way to let it out, to sweat it out so that she can move on. Also, the fact that not everybody's going to like what you do and that that is an okay thing too. All right? I hope this is giving you post ideas. That's really what I'm going for here. Um, another one. Say you're a new Beachbody coach, right? And you want to share with people something, you know, about you. She talks a lot about this is a perfect thing. After you guys sit down and do this assignment um, and you talk about your strengths and your weaknesses and who you want to attract, Make a post about it, guys. Talk about this is who I am. This is who I, I strive to be. These are the people that I want on my team and a part of my business. Go out there and share that stuff. That's what's going to make it happen, right? Talk about your family and that you're a goal setter, that you're a go-giver, that you're a survivor or you're a teacher, you know, whatever it is. Talk about who you are. Maybe you suck at eating healthy. Talk about that. But talk about how you are always a work in progress and you're never going to give up. Candace did a great post about um, on social media about her kids watching her. Kids are sponges. They see you. They know what you're doing, right? No excuses. Talking about your, you know, your focus on your exercise um, and your nutrition and how what you do is going to trickle down into your family. She is attracting other moms with kids right there. She's talking about what kind of example she wants to be. All right, so just a couple more posts for you guys to kind of look over. But these are all great examples of ways to be. They're not salesy. Nobody's attaching a link to buy something. You should never, ever post your Team Beach Buddy site. You should always share authentic things. Look, are these pictures, they're all taken with an iPhone or a phone of some sort. They are not professional pictures. They are, you know, we use apps on our phones to make them look good. Everybody can do this. Do you think that each person that took a picture here got the perfect picture the first time they took it? No. I bet you that every single one of these coaches has taken at least 10 pictures before they got the right one that they made into this post. Feel free to practice and experiment until you find what works for you. All right, so. As we kind of think about attraction marketing tonight, guys, go back and give yourselves a grade. Ask yourself, what could I do better? What can I do more of? Where am I falling short? Am I posting too much fitness? Am I not sharing anything about the business? Do I have way too many pictures of my kids? Is your profile picture a picture of you? Do I see you on your Facebook page? I want you to give yourself an honest to goodness grade and then ask somebody else to give you a grade too so that we can kind of see where you fall. All right, and as we kind of close up and finish out the evening, I want you guys to think about a few things. Are you struggling this month to get people to just commit? Do you feel like you're starting to nail these posts and you're sharing inspiration and motivation, but people are not pulling the trigger? Number one, a few things you guys can do. Invite more people. Go for no, guys. If you sit down and you say to yourself, I have not hit Success Club 5 yet, then you are not going to bed tonight until you invite 20 people or 10 people. And then tomorrow when you wake up, you're going to invite 20 more. And every single day you're going to invite as many people and you're going to talk to as many people as you can. And you're going to follow up within 24 hours of those people. You're going to hit success club by the end of the week. There's the secret sauce truly is in the power of inviting. And I know a lot of you guys on this call can agree that inviting is where it is at. Attraction marketing with your post is attracting people, but the invite is what is going to get them. So invite, follow up, making sure that you're inviting them to something. So if you started a challenge group on June 22nd and you didn't get anybody to join, well, 
Start another challenge group the week after the 4th of July. Start inviting people to that now. But when you invite, you want to give them something that you're inviting to. Here's another thing. Get kind of fun. You are marketing to people. So I loved what Jamie did about, you know, happy birthday to you, right? She put this up on her like page. Um, she did end up boosting it. She got three challenge pack sales from it. The key um, is not really what you say. It's in your picture, right? So a happy birthday to you. She posted about the 21-day fix, but she also said, I want to give you the 21-day fix for free. Email me below if you want to know how you can get yours free or send me a message. Everybody wants something free, right? And the catch is buy Shakeology, get the 21-day fix for free. She's giving them cash back. $10 cash back, either PayPal, send them a personal check with a thank you note for placing their order. Um, and, and this gives her a bunch of people that she now can talk to and follow up with. All right. Maybe you want to pay it forward. You love challenge groups. It's truly changed your perspective on life. You absolutely love Beachbody programs, 21 Day Fix, you know, Max 30, whatever program is kind of your soulmate. And so you want to pay it forward. You want to offer cash back. You want to give people your commission. Go for it. If you need two more success club points, what's it going to hurt to give somebody your commission? It's only going to give you that edge where that person could potentially have great results and be a great success story and then be a future coach to join your team. All right? Um, so over the course of the next, you know, eight days of the month, you have time. You have a lot of time. The, the clock is not over, and you guys that know me, I've said this until the clock strikes midnight, uh, you know, it's not over. You're not going down like that. I don't care if you have zero points right now. You're going to hit Success Club. If you start today, you get off this phone, you get your sheet of paper out, you start keeping track of who you're inviting, you follow up, you are going to achieve Success club this month and, and long-term success in your business. So I hope this kind of gives you some guidance um, to help you guys along. And some of my favorite apps, some of you were kind of asking what apps I use. I just threw this up here at the end because this is something that has kind of helped me too. So um, if you're thinking, if you're on the go, you don't have time to use PicMonkey, you don't have a lot of time at your computer, I use my phone for just about everything, um, and it works great. These are some of my favorite apps. It takes a little playing around with it to figure it out but they're great. I take pictures of myself against a blank wall. That's what I use for my images when I'm, when I'm creating advertisements. All right? So um, call to action for this evening, guys. Success partner. That's first. Evaluate yourself. That's number two. Write down your weaknesses and your strengths. What's your ideal customer or coach, right? I want you to share that kind of stuff. Share it with your success partner. And lastly, Start crafting posts that are directly related to the people you want to have in your business and in your challenge group. Number whatever, three, or number four, I want you to invite like your life depends on it. I want you to pretend like if you do not invite, somebody is coming to take your house away from you. All right? If you, like last week, Raina Odell said, I want you to close your eyes and hit send. And I want you to share with people why Beachbody has truly made an impact on your life, right? Be authentic. Do not be salesy. If you invite 20 people and nobody gets back to you, then have your upline look at what you're sending. Can you tweak it a little bit, right? I want everybody that is having success, that has a favorite script that they use or an invite or a post that works, our goal is to be the team that shares tonight. I want you to go into the team page, and I want you to share a script that works every time you use it and your favorite post that has gotten you the most interaction and traction. Um, so that is our follow-up and our takeaway for tonight. And if you didn't get a chance, if somebody on your team didn't get a chance to get this call, I'll post the recording in, in the files section of our team website and in our Facebook page as well. So um, guys, go out there. I want you to crush it. I want you to have an incredible week. Um, next week, we have a guest speaker on our call. And I just want to make sure I get it correct. Um, who is speaking next week we have and I don't I want to say it is oh why don't I have it on here we have um, Kaylee Tennessee is going to be our guest speaker um, next week 
and she's going to be talking about recruiting for coaches and how she built her business um, based off of she's a very strong business coach. She actually uh, she runs challenge groups, but that is not her strength. And so I my strength is definitely challenge groups. But we're going to hear a different perspective next week. So I think there'll be that'll give you just a flip side of things as well. So um, yes, so let's share scripts. Let's let's talk about things that work for you guys and any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer. So otherwise, you guys have a great night and make it an absolutely great week, too. All right. What's a good way to follow up with somebody who said they would buy a challenge pack on a certain day that day has passed? How would you follow up without being irritating? You know, um, Sandra, go back to that person and, and just message them and say, hey, you know, I know you were planning on making your challenge pack purchase. I do have a spot left. You know, the group is going to be starting in a week. And I just don't want to give your spot away because I'm just limiting it to five people. So before I invite anybody else, I just wanted to offer it to you. You know, can you let me know either way? Um, so, you know, either way by tomorrow, you know, at the latest. So that's kind of what I do with that. Um, and if they don't purchase, you know, I keep them on the list. I, I follow up with them again, you know, the next week and say, hey, our group has passed. I hadn't heard back from you. Maybe life got busy, but would you like to join my next group? That is also something I do. All right. Um, I think I got all the questions. All right, guys. All right, guys. Have a great night. I will see you all later. Take care.